The following KQED production was produced in high definition. This is what happens when you mix imagination with science fiction. And then add water. The whole thing looks like uh, either uh, an insect or a Klingon bird of prey. It's called Proteus, and it's the first of a new class of ocean-going boats called Wave Adaptive Modular Vessels, or WAMV. Invented by Bay Area engineer Hugo Conti, Proteus doesn't cut through the waves. It skims across the ocean, the way a water skeeter zips over a pond. It goes in such an elegant way. You are suspended on the water, and you see this water passing by. This kind of contact, this gentleness of, of being at sea, it's, it's something very, uh, very satisfactory. I think I enjoy that a lot. Originally a design engineer for defense contractor Raytheon, Conti quit his job in the 1970s as a UC Berkeley researcher and spent three years sailing around the world with his wife and young son. During that voyage, like many sailors, Conti suffered from seasickness. As you do that, you see that the spring that moves. But unlike the average sailor, he felt compelled to find a solution. Because, you know, I get a little seasick and so on, so I suffer at sea. And I, there must be a better way. I want to fix that. If I have a problem, I tend to solve it with my engineering capabilities. You know, I was born an engineer. And so, um, and I have to work with my hands, most important. Uh, and then, then I have to make it, so I can't escape uh, these, these new things. And, and, and it's actually a problem sometimes, because, you know, you go into crazy things like this. The almost uncontrollable urge to innovate is an essential element in Bay Area history. And shipbuilders have never been a timid bunch. Conti combines both of these wild streaks, and the result is a classic example of just how far you can get in your garage. Living in this area, everything's possible. Somebody has an idea and doesn't have the money, it doesn't belong to a big company, so what does it do? Well, it does it in the garage. So we go in the garage and we make it and we see if it works. At this point, it's pretty clear that Wham V class vessels work. But how exactly did Conti come to implement a design like this? I'm fascinated by insects, and so I'd actually studied their shapes because this has this insect uh, qualities. And, and they are like this because they're very efficient. You know, evolution has made them that way for very good reasons. And so I wanted to, in some way, you know, reproduce that. And that's what he did. Instead of busting through waves and rough seas like traditional ocean-going vessels, Proteus is designed to be flexible and conform to the ocean surface, skimming across and maintaining its equilibrium. This reduces the nauseating up and down motion. Here's how the wham -V works. At its base are two 100-foot inflatable pontoon holes, each with six internal airtight chambers. They're spread 50 feet apart in a wide catamaran style that makes for a very stable platform. But unlike a normal catamaran with holes connected by a rigid structure, the bridge and cabin of the Proteus are suspended above the ocean by four metal legs on titanium springs that are designed to flex and move with the rolling sea. The stern arch and the cabin and the bridge and everything is one piece. But the front, uh, the, the forward arch, so the, the arms, if you wish, and, and it's actually the arms, like you have you know, this, this, and you have the, the elbow, and you have the shoulder, it's made that way. Um, that thing can, can go like this, okay? So there's a ball joint, and it can go also like this. So it, it, can, it can twist around and adapt to the motion of the hulls. The hull of a normal boat this size would sit more than six feet deep in the water. But the Wham V's pontoons have a draft of only eight to 16 inches. That cuts down on drag and increases the boat's maneuverability, speed, and fuel efficiency. This is an ocean crossing boat, yes. 
It can go between two and 5,000 miles, so it can actually uh, go quite some ways. Uh, so it can carry enough fuel, but it's also used as extremely low fuel compared to the boat that can cross the ocean. And that's why it's very light, and so it's a very green boat. Very little on Proteus functions in a typical fashion. It doesn't have a steering wheel, uh, so we don't steer. We just drive differentially. The engines are so far apart that uh, if you shut one off and you keep the other one on, you turn. And if you actually put one in reverse, you turn on yourself. The boat is powered by two 355 horsepower diesel engines. Each is housed within independent engine pods connected to the ends of the pontoons by a specially designed hinge system. This is one of the WAMV's engineering secrets. The hinge allows this uh, the, the, the section of the hull just to move with the waves, just follow, and so that the propeller is constantly in the water. And that is very essential for, you know, the propulsion of the whole system and the maneuverability. One of the problems with the catamarans, when they hit a wave, as the wave passes under, the propellers come out of the water. This is a problem that was explained to me by a Coast Guard uh, officer. So they cannot maneuver at that point, and they are just basically in the hands of the waves. Proteus, on the other hand, is nimble and can ride the waves hugging flat to the surface while both engines stay fully engaged. With 2,000 gallons of fuel, it can travel 5,000 miles. That makes the experimental craft potentially useful for marine research, rescues, and military applications. You can put a diver's boat, you can put a biological lab on it, or a chemical lab, or a uh, electronic lab for instrumentation. And every time you change it, you don't have to change the whole ship, but you just change the module. And the fact that you can actually drop things down, it's, it's quite advantageous for a lot of users. Also for search and rescue, you can drive over a person and pick it up from there. The person doesn't hit anything. It's not like a regular boat where in a seaway it's going to be dangerous from that point of view, but you just pick them up. So there's a lot of interest for that kind of application. Although they have yet to buy one, the U.S. Navy is currently testing the Proteus, and the Office of National Marine Sanctuaries has shown interest in it as a research platform. But Conti and his team aren't waiting around. They've already started refining the next generation of WAMV vessels. And it's probably safe to say they won't be going by the book. I work with my emotions and not particularly with my rationality. I do not read the instruction manuals, which is sometimes a bad thing, but I don't. I hate it. I throw it away. I don't have it. I don't know how to work my watch. It does things and I don't know how to fix it because I threw away the little manual. If you are very knowledgeable in a field, it's very difficult to, to get unstuck you, you, you're, you're really uh, trapped by this, uh, you're, you're in the box. That's what they say. I mean, they taught me this phrase. I didn't know it in English, but you know, you are in the box and it's very difficult to come out. But if you start from outside the box, nobody told me that you couldn't do it. And so I did it. For our video podcast, discover or more email and newsletter. donate at, at kqed.org/quest.